How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another Brood War ladder battle. I've been dying to see what Sharp is going to be looking like in the upcoming season of SSL. If you guys remember from last season, I had him on my list of favorites for winning uh, the final season of the ASL. Now we're here in the SSL, and I'm just not quite sure where he's at. We've seen a little bit of him from the KCM, but not, not too much. And he, you know, he finished round of four last season. He's seated into round the 16. And this could be a very interesting matchup. We've got light down here. This could be one of his opponents in the round of 16, which I mean, should give us a very good indicator of kind of where he's at. And we're also getting a TVT on kickback, which is something I haven't casted yet. And it is, in fact, light down here. Going to be opening up with a CC first. Whereas Sharp, he went for one Rax fast expand. So a little bit less greedy here from Sharp. Which is always a good thing for the greedier player. We've got light in a bit of an advantageous position right out the gate. But that doesn't indicate, you know, how this game is going to go. There's so much that can happen. We'll just have to wait and see uh, what kind of run buys we can get from Sharp. Sharp's going to be all over the map with Vultures. And this could, this is, this is a map that could take us to a very long game. It could end quickly, of course. TVT has been getting shorter and shorter as of late. But I expect to see a much longer game on kickback where we've got these two natural bases. We've got the both high grounds here. They have less minerals at each patch and the gas guys are less, but you're easily able to grab three bases right off the bat, which means I expect we'll be seeing a lot of powering from these two guys. And I'm not disappointed here because we have two very fast expand builds. It'll be leading into really quick expansions and uh, some factories coming out on both sides. Now, one thing to mention is that here on this map, if you get control over this area in front of your opponent's natural, you can set up a very wide contain and prevent them from ever coming out. So it's a bit of a risk. What we're seeing right here, Sharp is going to take a third command center right off the bat. And we'll see if this ends up paying off or ends up hurting him in the long run. Because if Light can get out in front of his natural, in front of Sharp's natural, it's going to be really hard to bust out. You really only need to hold a couple of different locations. You can hold here, you can hold here. Um, right along here is pretty darn strong. So... Light's going to be the one putting on the pressure. Sharp's going to be sitting back on just one factory, trying to get another expansion out. His second factory now on the way, but there's quite a bit more production here. Double the production at the moment for Light, and he hasn't invested into this CC, so he's just going to have more units. The other way this can go is, of course, uh, we could get right into drop ships. Uh, if light manages to contain, we could go drops and start to pressure these back bases. If you get tanks on these high grounds, like if this area gets taken over by sharp, for instance, and he puts a bunch of tanks up here, what, what does that do to your production? You have almost no way to get up this ramp. It's so hard to get up this ramp and you've got high ground here inside your base um, where the opponent will be shelling everything, pumping out of your factories that's not the case on most maps it's a pretty unique aspect of this map so something to keep in mind as we get going here both players floating their racks across the map and so far this has paid off this um this high ground expansion and just seeing this is not going to tip the hand to light because he hasn't seen this base over here yet at least i don't think um, he was running around with an SCV, but I believe that got denied. Two more factories on the way. He's also uh, grabbed a armory, although he hasn't started his plus one yet. 
Um, that may be coming up soon. Or getting in here and scouting, he may realize, okay. I've got more. I can take map control now. He's actually going to be building a supply deep on high ground. Will he start a third CC? That is a possibility. If he starts a third CC now, I would say that we'll have a firm advantage here for Sharp. Sharp has done a much greedier build. Like, he started off a little bit less greedy than Light, but then he went way deeper into the greed uh, as we went into this... Um, third base and it doesn't seem like light's gonna take that no he's gonna move across the map he almost has siege mode finished gonna try and come out and siege in front of this base but sharp really wants to get out here and try to deny this he's gonna siege first of course siege mode's not even done and he might be able to deny this let's see light gonna go around this side and maybe over here bring up some fr some extra tanks he could actually crush this right now we've only got two tanks Two more are coming out. It's five to two. Two Goliaths on either side. One Vulture on the side of Light. Get the target on these tanks. I don't think so. Okay, he does get one tank. One tank on either side. Two tanks have gone down now for Sharp. Getting right on top of these units. I think he will manage to break this. Light pushing in. Oh, I think he saves his tank. That is huge, actually. Managing to keep that tank alive. A really big factor right now. Looks like one of those tanks was able to reach that low HP tank. So we're down to three to two. There are scans on the side of light though. Great, great uh, counter scan there from Sharp. Sharp gonna rally forward here. Managing to pick off another tank. Nice job getting that one low HP tank. Oh no, he's not targeting on the tanks of light though. Targeting instead the vultures is not a good move. And he actually might've been able to get another tank there. But instead, Light holds strong here at the entrance to Sharp's Natural. If he continues to reinforce this position, we could see that situation I was just talking about earlier. Uh, this is the natural, the cause and effect of taking this third base so early is that you just don't have as much production. And it's very likely that you'll get overwhelmed and, you know, fall apart uh, at your natural. Can I, can I actually hit this? Okay, he can't. That's a very well-placed tank here by Light. He's making sure that he's not in range of either high ground while simultaneously uh, making sure that this is not easy to break out of. I would say probably setting up like a little bit further ways back might be stronger. You still have to come through a pretty small choke here, but you can set up a wider angle of tanks. I don't know though. This is this is pretty good. I would say we're at a, in a pretty good position, but with the extra factories that have been added here for Sharp, he's gonna try and hit with a lot of vultures. I'm gonna slip some vultures out on the map actually, but there's quite a few more for Light, which are gonna be tracking these down. They also have speed, so this may have been a little bit of a throwaway here for Sharp. And he did get a couple of tank kills, I think. He might even get one more. Good. Uh, sort of um, distracting with that extra vulture coming out. He forces some tank shots onto it and he's going to be able to maybe break out of here. Oh man. Still four tanks remain. He hasn't been able to break out just yet. A wraith is coming. A wraith on the side of both players actually right now. Just one Wraith for either player. That means whoever shoots first is going to win. And we've already got a Goliath here for Light. I gotta say, he's playing a fantastic game. Really putting the pressure onto Sharp here. And these two tanks are kind of dead weight. They are preventing tanks from sieging up on the side here. But they're not helping in the bust. They're not helping him to break out. There's already a third base up now and a fourth is on the way. Did he actually kill that SCV? He did. So slowing that down a little bit is very nice. Oh, some tanks kind of walking out on their own. And trying to drag some tank shots with that Vulture. He doesn't manage to do so and kills both the tanks. Sharp having a really hard time getting his tank count up right now. He's got five total. But we've got seven in front of his base. Can he target down this one tank? That's so big if he can get that. 
Oh, not quite. Does lose another tank there. Some of these are low. And he, I mean, he's got a lot of production. How much is over here? Wow. Three machine shops. We've got three machine shops over here too. It looks like we're even on production for either player right now. And Sharp is starting to, to get into a desperate situation. He loses his Wraith. Ooh, that's a bit rough because we're actually building Wraiths here as well. Now Light can put the pressure on with the Wraiths. You can come over here and start to hit these two tanks on the high ground. There's a ticking time bomb here with these uh, mineral patches slowly creeping downwards. Another tank kill there. Both of these tanks very low though. Oh, and he gets the Wraith and both the tanks. That is really rough. How many do we have? He's got to break out now. Really, Sharp only has one more opportunity to bust through here. He's getting some damage with these tanks on the high ground, but I really wish he would have brought these down to actually fight with this army. They're not really doing anything except space denial right here, which is not... It's just... They're not being worth it right now, and the Goliaths are just kind of hitting the floating buildings, kind of like goons attacking the barracks rather than attacking the actual tanks, and... He's actually going to lose all of this. Man, bring those tanks down. Sharp, what are we doing, man? Those tanks would have been so much more useful on the front lines, but he still failed to do so. And once again, we'll fail to break out. There's a good mine. Okay, three tanks only remain. If he brings these down, he's even on tank count. Actually, he has an advantage for a moment, and at least until these uh, reinforcements come up. He really needs to make a move. Come on, Sharp. Pull the tanks, brother. What are we doing? Even pull the SCVs. It's about that time. We have to do something. We have to make this work right now. He is going to pull some SCVs to try and tank some shots. Running forward here. He's trying to drag a mine. Not quite able to do it. Still five tanks remain. Plus one is done on either side. Plus two is nearly complete. If he wants to break out. He has to do it right now. Plus two is like the final nail in the coffin here, I think. Because you will never break out once plus two is online. There we go. These two tanks. Just going to be fodder for the vulture or for the uh, wraiths up here on the high ground. That is a sad sight. Finally, he breaks out. But he's going to start to lose these. Dude, these tanks. I'm so sad that these tanks were just left here. And that they're going to die for free. That is... That is beyond painful to me right now. Sharp, can we get out? We've got to get out. we got to pull everything together, Sharp. Looks like he will pull his stuff in just a moment. He's going to try and push forward. Ooh, almost eating a mine there. That was really, really close. He gets out on the map. He gets some purchase here. But there's another tank line just ahead of this. He's got plus two over his opponent for just a little moment. And he utilized this tiny timing to get out a little bit further. Light is so close to finishing that upgrade. It's done. Did he make enough progress with this initial push out to make it worth it? To bring himself back into this game. We've already got Light on another base. He's on four. Going on five bases now. Cloak here with these wraiths is so annoying. He's going to push everything back. But those cloak wraiths are still a threat. That's a lot of tanks. He's actually making some progress now. This is looking good. I'm liking what Sharp's doing right now. He's pushing forward. He's getting rid of all the wraiths. That's really, really big. These four tanks over here are really not doing anything. And it's time to actually take this base over here. I think we've got a floating CC at 12, but... Might as well pick this one up. Bring it over to here. Maybe take it to the middle even. Why not? Try to take a base over there. Really wants to come down here and shut uh, 6 o'clock off. Cut off the tap here of resources going to light. Light is going to lose this spot. That tank will go down. And the rates are going to get polished off as well. There goes all the rates. Ooh, a little tank flank here on the top side. Looks like he brought these tanks down to try and deal with this. We need vultures over there to clear out 12 so that he can get some mining going once again. 
All right, drop is going to come through. Three vultures into that back base, but that base is mined out completely. There's really nothing to attack over there. Six o'clock is down, and there's a big supply advantage here for Sharp. Has he done it? What an intense bust out from Sharp. Just barely managing to do it with the timing of his plus two and all these other factors. The, the slow breakout from him was painful to witness, man. It took so much skill and so much effort, time to just bust through this. They finally managed to make it happen. He's clearing out these bases. Light is running out of time here with just 100 supply. It's all he's been able to put together. This is his entire army. He's flying around with a dropship that's not very effective. There's 35 workers left, but there's hardly any mineral patches to work to mine from anyway. So he's just going to get these working here in a moment. There we go. He gets that vulture kill. All these SCVs down here are dead. So 48 workers actually for sharp and light. I mean, he's got to just go for it. Here we here we go. Pushing northward. Tanks are going to siege, or are they just going to stay unsieged and try to push through? Looks like unsieged push is what he's going for. Mine's trying to be laid in front of this. But Light will continue to sally forth. Maybe he can secure this base right here and keep his life alive in this game. He is very close to being forced to tap out, though. The base here on the high ground. Helping out sharp to just keep him in production right now he's barely able to produce anything both players are having a really hard time keeping that production up but let's see 33 workers gonna head directly over to this base center right is gonna be held for light for now and i doubt that's a good location to try and push into this many plus two plus two tank or plus two plus zero tanks excuse me should be able to hold a position At least for the time being. Sharp. Scanning around. He's checking out where light is at. He's adding on another base in the top left. Got so many tanks. That is so many tanks. But still. A pretty significant disadvantage. We've got about a 30 supply disadvantage for light. But it's 10 supply of SCVs. Which means the army supply is just 20 different. That's not that crazy. If Sharp walks into a siege line, he could absolutely uh, absolutely throw away that advantage. If he has you know, too much defending over here at the top left and light pushes with his entire army or drop somewhere, that could be quite significant as well. A big drop right now could really change this game. I don't know where he got the money for it, but... He's managed to slip three drops into uh, his production cycles. And he's going to head out on the map. How hilarious would it be if these were empty? Imagine if he threw, uh, you know, flew three dropships right over tanks. Revealed them and then just used his entire army to bust through and head up towards Sharp's Natural. How insane would that be? That would be pretty crazy. Now, we're thinking about dropping here on the high ground, but already in position with all of these mines and tanks and vultures. Looks like he'll drop over at center left. I don't know what this is actually meant to uh, help out with. Okay, that was quite the mine there. A little bit unfortunate for Light getting hit by that. But he is mining. He has mining over here at the center right. And so he's still in this game. Still just 20 supply behind. And it's, it's closing. The gap is closing. You can see... Still 10 workers behind, but now only 10 army supply behind. Here we go. He's going to push forward. Nice, D-Matrix. Insane to me that Light, on such a small economy, managed to slip in a vessel. That just uh, counts towards his experience. What an experienced and fantastic TVD player to know that... No, it's just... It's it's good enough. It's a, it's a good idea to build a science vessel here. It'll, um, it'll pay for itself, for sure. Uh, it's like 200 gas, so that's like 200 tanks, maybe. Or two tanks, not 200 tanks, but two tanks, potentially. 
Gonna bring army from the left and right side. Try to get the pincer going here on this army. Does manage to clean up the majority of it. Some firing back here from Sharp, though. And where are those dropships? I don't think they got picked off, did they? I don't think he lost those dropships. They must be out on the map here somewhere. There they are. A little bit funny that they're just sitting here in center left. It seems like that he's kind of forgotten about that. I'm gonna try and retake six o'clock. This is getting to be a little bit of a wild game, guys. I'm not sure exactly which way this is gonna go because the my goodness, it's very tight in supply now. Kind of crazy. Did we have some sort of mistake here from Sharp? I really feel like he had such an advantage with the way his mining uh, has been going. He's got two bases where, really, Light only has one. Drops over here into the real one mining base that Light does have. And he's going to start to kill some SCVs in the back here. We'll manage to slip out these, these dropships as well. Nice move with the eBay to just soak that turret damage. Army moving through the middle of the map. Will Sharp be prepared in the top left to block this? He's done a very good job of shutting down the economy. I mean, we're not mining at all right now for light. He's still producing some stuff, but he's very, very low on just about everything. Drops over here. Just kind of hanging out. A little bit of dead weight there for light right now. Great D Matrix once again. My goodness, these D Matrix. Absolutely killing it. There's another kill. More tanks. Maybe land tanks on the high ground over here. It will be very difficult to bust through this area with tanks on high ground. And so I doubt the sharp will be broken here. But maybe light will take the whole map. Or the whole rest of the map. You know, the whole bottom left. While this is going on. Drop's going to come forward. Thinking about dropping on top of those tanks. But he thinks better of it. Tank's just going to stay in position for now. This little drop did so much work. Just those two Goliaths there make it so prohibitively expensive to clear that with Wraiths. Base in the middle of the map. You'll love to see it. That's a really sick move from Light. Floating his CC out here to the middle of the map. Now he can grab two more gases. However... Starting to get hit by some vultures. At the same time, tanks dropping on top of the tanks in the middle of the map. This actually might be the killing blow here. Light got a little bit uh, casual with his army movement in the middle of the map. And Sharp just managed to sneak in there, start to clear things out. He saw an opportunity to drop on some low health tanks and he really cleaned up nicely. Now pushing into the middle, he's going to shut off the income flow for Light once again. And there it is. GG Sharp. Showing some fantastic TVT in this. What appeared to be a really rough beginning for him. He had the worst economic position. He tried to double down and into greed. To get himself back into a good spot. It almost cost him his life in this game. Because Light almost trapped him in his main. Had a really hard time busting out of here. But with a lot of perseverance... And some very good control. Eventually, he managed, even though he handicapped himself by keeping two tanks over here. Even with the shackles on, Sharp still managed to bust out of his natural. And taking map control, breaking through Light's Contain. Very impressive play here from Sharp. Really looking forward to his performance. And a match between these two guys in the SSL. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I know you enjoyed this TVT. Uh, TVT, not a big favorite for most people out there. But I'm sure that you enjoyed this one. This one was crazy. These are the type of TVTs that you really love to see. And so... We'll definitely be on the lookout for more TVTs like this one in the future. That's it for now. See you next time.